Hi there. Now before we do this question, let's just have a brief recap that we're given this vase here and we're told that water is flowing into the vase and when the depth of the water then is H, the volume of the water is V given by this formula here. And water flows into the vase then at a constant rate of 80 pi centimeter cubes per second and we've got to find the rate of change of the depth of the water in centimeters per second when h is 6. Now this is a typical connected rates of change problem and if you're unsure about these problems do check them out in my tutorials on my website. But what are we given first of all? We're given this point here that water flows into the vase at a constant rate of 80 pi centimeter cubes every second. And we can write that down as, let's just say we write this here, given that the rate of change of volume, dv by dt, okay? We can get the idea of the units just by looking at the units on the end here. Centimeter cubes is a volume and per second is a rate of change with respect to time. So we know that this is equal to 80 pi. Okay, I won't put the units in there, but uh, it's 80 pi centimeter cubes per second. So I say it's a connected rates of change problem because if we've got to find the rate of change of depth of the water, okay, we're looking for dH by dt. And how do we connect this? Well, we go for dH by d something times the same d something by dt. These two d somethings have to be the same and it has to be v. It's the only other variable really here that we're not using. So that's how I would think of starting the problem. Now, dv by dt we've already got. It's this constant value of 80 pi, so that's good. What we need to get is dh by dv. Well, we can get that from knowing that v equals this equation here. We can find dv by dh and then reciprocate it, okay? And that will give us dh dv. So knowing that's what I what I'm need to do, I'm going to take this and first of all expand it so we can get ready to differentiate it with respect to h. So therefore what we've got is v equals, and expanding it we've got 4 pi h squared and then you've got plus 16 pi h. Okay, so we've got that. Let's just border this off so it doesn't run into that. And then if we differentiate this with respect to h, we've therefore got dv by dh will equal. Differentiating 4 pi h squared with respect to h is going to give us 8 pi h. And then differentiating 16 pi h with respect to h is just going to leave us with 16 pi. So if I reciprocate this, we've therefore got dh by dv is going to equal 1 then over all of 8 pi h plus 16 pi. But I'm going to pull out 8 pi because it's a common factor there. So we've got 8 pi times h plus 2. So therefore I can put this into here. We've got dh by dv, then it's 1 over all of 8 pi, make that look like an 8 there, 8 pi times h plus 2. And then as for dv by dt, well that's 80 pi. And this cancels down quite nicely. I can see that 8 pi goes into that once and goes into that 10 times. So what we've got then is essentially that therefore dh by dt equals the 10 all divided by h plus 2. And so now we're in a position just to say, well, when h is 6, when h equals 6, we've got that rate of change of height, okay, dh by dt in other words, 
is going to be 10 over the 6 plus 2, 10 over 8, and this reduces down to 5 over 4 or 1.25, okay, 1 and a quarter centimeters per second. Okay?